This episode of The Horror Basement is brought to you by HauntCon 2017 at the Sheraton Music City Hotel, January 26th through the 30th. For more information, go check them out at hauntcon.com. Tennessee Horror News Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Johnny Leroy. And as always, we got the myth, the legend, the horror man, Jim Jam with us. Guess who's back? Back. Back, back again. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't do that too much, can we? Why? I don't know. Is there some sort of copyright? Anyways, Happy New Year. We hope y'all had a great holiday season, right? Right. And uh, we took a month off, you know. Needed a break. Yeah, you know. Then I come back with a cold. Yeah, that's Jim Jam for you. But we should have a good show for you today. Special guest, Lindsay Hartman. Hartman. One of the cast members of Death House. Death House. And hoping to have uh, a more guest from Death House. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Feature. Awesome. So, we hope you enjoy. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. We have a uh, Lindsay Hartley, um, actress, in the coming up in Death House. Uh, Lindsay, thank you so much for being on here. And uh, of course, you've been in lots of things, you know, soap operas mm-hmm. and everything. Then we're horror fans, so you know we want to talk about Death House and a little bit more, possibly. And how was it working with Harrison Smith and and the job doing and just horror in general? Because you're fairly new yeah. at it, correct? I, that this was the first film I have ever been in that uh, was attached to the horror genre, and I feel very blessed to be a part of this particular movie. So if I'm going to step in, this was definitely the movie to um, be a part of, I think. I was very grateful. I uh, read the script, and uh, I loved the character, Balthoria, so much. Like I'm actually scared of scary movies. They, they horrify me. Uh, no pun intended. And uh, <laughs> you, they, they do. I mean, I have nightmares. I like it. I can't walk down the hallway after I see them. And so, in a weird way, I always wanted to do one. I'm like, well, if, maybe if I do one, I won't be so scared. I mean, not well, true. Not true. Did, <laughs> yeah. Not we true did at this all. Movie. No. Yeah, we did this. We did this movie. And there's one scene which, of course, I can't give details, but we step. So we thing, and then we step off while they set up, you know, the blood and all that kind of stuff, the special effects. Yeah. So, so we come back on to continue the scene because we were supposed to have done this like horrible thing to this guy, blah blah blah. And uh, we step on, and I was like literally like vomiting in my mouth, like oh, I, and it, I I knew it was fake. Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh my God, this is so disgusting. This is so gross. And, uh, you know, and I'm like, and then of course my character is like the one who, you know, there's there's five of us, but we, we did it. And she's one of like the worst evils of hell. And I'm like walking on set going, oh my God, this is so gross. It did a fantastic <laughs> job with the special effects. Fantastic. Fantastic. I've, you know, I've seen the movie and it there is a few parts in there I was like oh my god um but uh it's good it's really good I'm excited about it Harrison did an incredible job yeah I can tell you you are um I was gonna ask he yeah the promo picture uh I guess that's on the stuff for the conventions of you in the bathtub was that just water died or was that like the fake blood it was everything. It was the, no, no. It was the fake blood. So and, sticky. Um, there was this, there was this chunky stuff <laughs> that they had in there. Mm. It, uh, oh, there was this. That sounds yeah, real nice. Chunky, oh yeah, it was so beautiful. I felt so sexy. Who's that? Um, so, <laughs> but I'm supposed to be like bait. Like that was from the movie, but we just the still photographer came up and shot that picture. Um, 
so the scene is from the movie. Like, I'll be in the bathtub in the scene, but then the actual moment that's captured is me looking up at the lens. That's just a picture. Okay. They grabbed it okay. so quick while I was Yeah. Because it. it's such a, you know, cool... Like, What's it like, though, to moment. take a bath in that kind of blood? Because, <laughs> I mean, like, they, um, it was, they say it's horrible. It like, cold. just that feel. But the feel of it, like, you it's so what? sticky. And it takes forever to get off from what I've heard from other, like, reading stuff. Well, I had... Well, I had... Well, it was kind of weird. The way we shot it, we shot it out of order. And uh, the day before, I have this... My my character's outfit is... It's just kind of a bummer because you can't really tell the detail because it's so dark. The film is dark, you know, which kind of sucks. I was like, oh, darn it. Um, but I'm sure they'll use it again. It, it was a beautifully made uh, one-piece uh, uniform that uh, you need to put silicone all over your body in order to step into it oh because it's it's that it sticks to you it's yeah you know, it's that what is that what, what's that material called that, latex like, um latex so yeah on latex suit wow so they had to douse me in silicone to get the thing on right okay so then the next day i'm going in the bathtub so i kept everyone kept saying oh my god you're going to be dyed red are you okay with this it's going to be it's yeah. gonna take, you know a while to wash off well put you in shaving cream we'll throw you in the shower but it's gonna dye your skin it's gonna dye your skin are you okay i'm like yeah yeah i gotta do the scene they were they were gonna like not show the, the tub and harrison was so kind he's like i don't want your skin dyed red we can cheat it and i'm like no we need to get the shot of the blood in the back yeah i'll go and around blood like, red okay. if i have to yeah i'm like i'll, I'll do it i'll do it for the movie so uh but we cut we figured so they sprayed me with hairspray before i went in so not only, okay, so I was, so I spent a day in silicone the day before, and then the next day I, I got sprayed with the uh, hairspray, and I, took, you know, because they, they say that that helps. Yeah, the, stop the, it. Uh, red, the, yeah, from penetrating the skin. So basically I get out of it, I take a shower, I am perfectly normal. And the only thing, and everyone was shocked, and the only thing we could think of is probably the day before that silicone yeah. had, was on still even though I had showered and stuff it, it had built still in barrier. you a little like in your pores a little bit just yeah and it. totally protected me so the guy the special effects guy was like I'm gonna tell people next that's time what the, that's what I was the thinking before that's what I was should. thinking the day before you come in silicone your home yeah <laughs> put, put, put yourself in silicone which I don't and you know that was a, a, a little joke on set too. It was quite quite an interesting experience, but uh, it was fun. It was it was actually really cool. That's so actually anyway, really cool. I, I um got lucky. I got blessed. I don't know how it all happened, but um you know <sighs> Robin DiMartino, who is the casting director, was so wonderful to me, and she you know really supported my. She helped me through the audition process. And uh, we became friends after the movie. And, of course, Harrison and I developed a relationship. He just cared so much about this project, you know. Um, and, uh, and then... Yeah, we he, got to talk to him, and he joined... loved this. Oh, yeah. Sorry for interrupting oh. you, but it just, I had to say that. Like, yeah. And he, it's just, like, passionate about this film. Oh, it's, it's incredible how much he cares about it. And so... You feel that on set. Oh, and that's the other thing. So we're talking about the first time I've ever done a horror movie. I've never done one, so I didn't... You don't know what to expect, right? You just come on set, you do your thing, or whatever. I don't know any of these people. Like, sometimes I do... Like, if I do, like, a Lifetime movie, I might walk on set and go... And recognize the person that I'm in the scene with because we... Because of daytime... A lot of daytime people are cast in Lifetime movies. It's just kind of... Very, yeah. It happens, right? So I kind of know that circle a little bit, and I don't know this circle. These were the most kind, loving, affectionate human beings in a cast ever, cast and crew. The cast wow. and crew That's, were so affectionate and supportive and hugging and laughing, and it was crazy. I, it that was, should make it for a really, really good movie nice because everybody yeah. gets along <clears throat> with the atmosphere. It was if, yeah, it was the night. Well, and of course, the director kind of, you know, I don't want to say they're in charge, but they really do of the tone. They really do set the tone. They really are in charge of the tone. You know, he is so uh, kind and sweet and hardworking and cared so much that you just want to do a good job. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. So, yeah. 
Wow, that's, yeah. that's, so I had that, fun. That's awesome. <laughs> Did Harrison talk about another trailer possibility? Yeah, yeah he said that they were be. making one. Because we, uh, they let us put the trailer up on our YouTube channel, and it's it's almost got sixty thousand views Is just it? on ours. Yeah, people. Oh, wow. Yeah. People were commenting on it, and you know, which Harrison, he, this movie to him. He's like, this isn't your typical horror movie. You have yeah. to come in it smart. Don't think that this is a yeah. just one of your sit, sit back and be dumb and watch a movie. No, you know where like you can just sit and watch a movie and not have to think. Like that, that to me, that's I watch some Steven Seagal movies. <laughs> it, and I'm not putting well, down I, Steven Seagal. I love his movies, but but it's you sit down, you watch a good action movie, and you don't have to think about a plot. Yeah. You just watch the movie right. and you enjoy that what he does because all his movies are it's, the same, and I enjoy that. But, yeah, you know, well, it, I feel like. Oh, go ahead. It's not, well, I'm just saying it's not cookie cutter. No, it's definitely. Like I said, it was like getting on a roller coaster ride. I love roller coaster rides. Like, yeah, I'm obsessed with them. I go. I they make me laugh. Like I, I I'm not a That's serious what person. Do. But I'm not going to, like, just bust out laughing all the time. It takes a lot to make me laugh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I really got to find you funny. I mean, that's just my personality. I get thrown on a roller coaster, and I instantly start laughing. It just, it's the most fun. And so I told them after I watched, I was like, ooh. It was like a high-speed roller coaster, you know? Like, very, like, there were surprises. It was fun. It was thrilling, you know? So that's I think a, you guys are going to love it. That's how I get at haunted houses. I just start laughing. Like, that must be my, oh, like, trigger yeah. mechanism where somebody jumps out and scares me and I just laugh. <laughs> I'm just so laughing the whole time. Yeah. It's weird how... <laughs> it, it is. It's weird how certain things just get you. And so I was... I mean, I wasn't laughing at this. Let me tell you. There was no laughing coming out <laughs> of me at all. But I had that great thrill feeling, you know, being watching it. So, yeah. There's yeah. nothing wrong with so that. Anyway. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. So we'll see. Can't, I'm excited to get the, the the news on where where and when and all that kind of stuff. You know? um, yeah, that's what I'm wondering is when. Yeah, and one thing well, Jonathan yeah. said something about all the what he read. All the five evils are getting their own movie. Yeah, well, I know that they just put up um, the prequel to it. It's called Dawn of Five Evils. Oh, um, see, that's so nice. you're, you're going to be in it, right? Yes. I see, like... I think it would be good, though. You see the one movie, and then you get to see the backstory to all of them and why that yeah. movie took place. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, that's true, yeah. I mean, I... It's so like you see the future, like, and then you see you start watching the past, pretty much, right? I guess you... I don't Wait, know. what? It's like you see the, the current movie, and then you get to see the past history of every one of the evils, eventually. Exactly. So, so um... Which is kind of fun. definitely... Yeah, I mean it's 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 very exciting. I'm I have an idea of what the Dawn of Five Evils is about, but that I'm definitely not allowed to talk about. Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> we try to get stuff out of Harrison like, hey, when when's the you know the new trailer coming up and when's it you know he's yeah. like, no, I'm not gonna. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to get exclusive. <clears throat> yeah, and he's he's a super nice guy. I'll, oh. I mean, Super sweet. But yeah. he's passionate, it's, it's, so passionate about Death House, and he just when yeah. we had him on, he's just like horror fans need to be smarter, and you know just everything. And he was oh, he cares so much. Yeah, about he the you could tell he cared. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. he was so passionate, and cared Definitely. so much. It's just like wow. Well, I mean, yeah, he, I mean, even, it'd be amazing yeah, to work with him. Like if like I can see where everybody gets that feeling. Like you said the cast and the crew, everybody's just really happy. Well. You got a guy pushing this project that's, you know, so passionate and happy about it that you got to, you want to put it at all. Oh, you can tell. Yeah. Especially watching the live, uh, live Facebook feeds of the, when y'all were doing the uh, question. Yeah. Q&A of, you was on one of the Q&A, wasn't you? In LA. Yeah. Hey, I but, one of them in oh, LA. That made me just think, well, now you'll be able to go around on the, the, the horror circuit Oh, it's yeah, on autographs. Can, yeah, you can do the horror conventions now. Yeah. I, I want to. I think I might have, <laughs> might have, I, hey, I want to be a part of this. And uh, <laughs> I, 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 you know, being in the, in the daytime community, there are 
the fans are amazing. They're, I mean, ugh, do they have soap opera how, conventions? How to, imagine what? soap opera conventions. They, they imagine that happens, right? Where all the soap opera there, stars get together at a festival. I mean, there are there's definitely soap opera, yeah, soap opera conventions and signings and all that kind of stuff. But they're the fans themselves. They stick with you. Yeah. They, they care so much about they, you know because they watch you every day on TV you know every and the day. horror fans seem very similar like they're very passionate about their genre and they want it to stay same as daytime they want the genre to stay um, so it's really nice to be a part of that as well and see like I said I'm brand new to it and I look forward to the to the journey you know I do I'm excited uh, for the movie to come out I'm excited to hear how people. I, uh, respond to it. Well, there's a festival this October. <laughs> Full hey, Moon Festival. I'm sure Nashville. they got everybody booked. <laughs> um, Jim Jam over here. He's trying to get you to come to Tennessee. Get me get me to come to Nashville. Yeah, yeah the, uh, October. It's, yeah, it's in October. Yes, yeah, I think it's the weekend of Halloween, isn't it? Yeah. They're going to have oh, the, really? it's the Full Ten- Moon Tattoo and Horror Festival. Yeah, it's about 16 years now. Kane, uh, Kane Hodder will be there. Yeah. I have we get enough people from the movie. Well, Kane Hunter may be there. I, well, yeah, that's true. Don't, don't. I thought he was. I don't know. May. But anyways, if we can get enough people <laughs> there, maybe we can do a Death House uh, panel. Shoot, that'd be awesome. Well, that would be amazing. Cause, I mean, I imagine the movie will have been out by then, you know. I hope so. <laughs> Paul, Paul Harrison and the Kane Hunter National too. Yeah, right. Yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> maybe we yeah. can but, get Harrison to come too. <laughs> Well, even if yeah. it's not this year, though, you got to think how many ever years down in the future that you'll always be. This movie right here will always be in the horror. It will be talked about for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, either it hits or misses. I mean, um, it, you, you. I see it going no, as a classic. Yeah, but it's going to be always talked about. Yeah. Because of what it is yeah. and what it's bringing to the horror genre. So you got so many years. That you're going to be to the horror community. That's your. That's this film is yours. Very, you know what I mean. So that's very kind of you to say. So yeah. I, I so mean, you you, know, you have many years that. to to travel and trust me, it, it's gonna. The horror community loves movies, so it's job security. <laughs> job security. <laughs> She's already got that. You guys are funny. <laughs> well, just, hey, I like I said, I'm just grateful that I got chosen to be a yeah. part of this like you know i can't i can't i don't know what else to say it's like i was like i don't know how it happened you know sometimes <laughs> you're just like wow how did i how did how did they pick why 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 me you know what i mean but the perfect I'm choice very blessed and, yeah, I'm so you're happy the, and you're the third person of the movie that's involved that we got to do a interview with we got one with tony oh. moran not too long harrison harrison smith and Trying to get R.A. Mahalo, so oh, that's so, you know, we're that's trying wonderful. to get a, Thank trying you. to get everybody we can. Yeah, and, and for you to be one of the five evils is even, you know. Yeah. Well, if we found out who the other ones were, <laughs> maybe I'll have to make it. Uh, <laughs> see, we're not going to. Not see, that's. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't say that. Yeah, right. you're like, I'm, I'm not saying. Well, you almost got me. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll message Harrison <laughs> on Twitter and like, hey, uh, who else can we interview? <laughs> Yeah, I won't say no. Actually, no. I, no. You know what? I've bet you he would tell you. I bet you. Did you ask him before? Maybe now that's no. I no, I we didn't talk about it. Well, because you know yeah, the I, movie I, was I, coming I, out, and we we was just trying to get in. You know, I, we weren't going to push him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to see him Tuesday anyway. I can always just say. You know, hey, what's the scoop? Are we allowed to you know share the info? You know, yeah. you guys want to interview some people to he's well, so yeah. cool. he really is you know yeah because i mean like like i said this movie right here i'm telling you this is going to be an iconic movie there's another guy that's in the movie i've been trying to get a hold of uh he was the one that's in the people under the stairs oh yeah i think he's in the movie too i don't know i don't know no <laughs> he's trying to look let up me stuff. imdb <laughs> it yeah he's trying to look up stuff so what about like <laughs> so you got death house and then I, I don't know. We're going to throw a Lifetime movie in here. Because you're some sort of, like, nurse, but like a... Nightmare nurse? Yeah, nightmare nurse. I was uh, a nightmare nurse, yes. 
I, I mean, so that's kind of like a horror genre. Like, if I, I didn't watch the movie, yeah. of course, you know, because I it's mean, a lifetime movie. I've done thrillers, okay? Like, but I've never done a horror film. Yeah. Like, I did, I was definitely uh, the, you know, the nightmare nurse in the nightmare nurse. That was super fun. Um, but, uh, uh, and then, but I also did a thriller um, that came out also uh, called Dying to Be Loved. And I was the mother who had a daughter and but the daughter was kidnapped and I thought she was dead and so then that's a thriller too but I was like the good person and then I have a, a few movies coming out next year um, one's a uh, should be out I believe it should be out in February on Lifetime um, it's a romantic comedy but I'm like uh, I'm, I'm a music producer who doesn't believe in love and it's a Valentine's Day type comedy um, I'm like the you know, I'm not evil. I'm just like the bad, like the bad person that just wants to like ruin this couple. And then I just did a, a another thriller where I have two twin boys, and um, I um, need help because I've decided to do throw this big charity in honor of my mother who passed away from pancreatic cancer, and I need help. So I hired this nanny. And she turns out to be the daughter that I gave up for adoption 18 years oh, wow. ago. So she comes back and she tries to, you know, she ends up trying to kill me at the end. <laughs> so I did another thriller. Yeah, yeah. That was fun. Yeah. I and felt... then, wait. That's intense. So... Oh, I, I, I did another one this year, too, called The Student, where I'm a, like a detective. That was fun. You are um, busy. Uh, oh, yeah. I had a busy year this year. Yeah, wow. Was, you're uh, very busy. But you're, like, busy in thrillers. I mean, yeah. which is not a bad genre I, because, I, I mean, thrillers are good too. To me, a yeah. horror movie and a thriller, I mean, you know, you can just the the intense waiting of what's going to happen, what's going to happen, what's, you know, yeah, I enjoy it. They're definitely, yeah, they're definitely similar. One just shows like, More just, gruesome. like the next step. Well, yeah. Like, yeah, it's like the next step. It's like the thriller that just went like off, off the cliff. You know what I mean? Yeah. It goes like one giant leap forward. But yeah, it's like the same. Uh, t- it's just it's suspenseful, but it's not like yeah as in you know as intense as horror. Yeah, um, yeah, and then of course I did Death House this year as well, so that was the other. And then I think is there another? I think that was it for this year. Really, this year was a busy year. Um, and then I start off the new year. I'm so excited with Garlic and Gunpowder, so yeah. which, which is a dark comedy, which we kind of talked about before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Before I press the um, record. <laughs> Yes, which is another Harrison Smith directed film. Yes. So. Um, we're, I'm ex- yeah, super excited to be back with him, and uh, um, and this is a this is like a different type of character for me. I've actually never played this type of character, so um, I'm kind well, of like excited to add it to. Uh, it's good. Know, Always doing something new. It sounds like. Totally. Yeah, she's totally, like you're totally you're different. pushing yourself to a, a different level of you know, which is yeah, always good. Yourself. Yeah, hell yeah, well, yeah it's yeah, awesome. I, I think it's it's fun to think. I think it's fun to kind of. I mean, that's what we're doing, right? We're just playing around. I mean, that's really we. Oh, and also, I know what the other thing was. Um, I'm writing. Um, I'm literally writing a film uh, for a company, um, and they distribute to Lifetime. So I'm actually writing a film with my boyfriend. Um, that we've gone through, we're, we're releasing our second draft back to this company, and then they produce the film and put it on Lifetime, and then I will be in that film. I'll be the lead in that film that I'm creating. Damn. So that's my biggest excitement. That that's what we've been doing the last. Oh yeah, I imagine months. that is like you, you create your own work, and then get to it's, see it through. Yeah, that'd be wild. It's in, yeah, I am so excited. I've never, I've never written anything in my life. This, what what, are you, what uh, well, genre would we, this be falling under? Romantic comedy or what? No, this we, this is a thriller. Oh, it's, it's Lifetime. Come on. Okay, okay. Yeah. Lifetime movies. The a woman is always stalking somebody, right? <laughs> yeah, a woman is always stalking somebody, or the woman is being stalked. Yes, and somebody. Yes. Can they Correct. use the same filters for all the movies. <laughs> it's the same what the filter same what? filter for the video because uh, it no, seems like they're all they're... shot with the same kind of the is field. it blue i don't know what it well, is it's the, it's the vibe it's yeah definitely the 
the lifetime vibe. So you you really have to see the logo stuff. in the corner. You just that's a lifetime movie. <laughs> you know what it is. It, it, but that's kind of pretty incredible, right? We got a hat off the lifetime. Yeah. Like, you if you know, see you if you see it, you're like, oh, that's brand. lifetime. Yeah. Is it Lifetime the yeah. one that does all the holiday movies at you know, around Christmas? Well, I don't actually, know. that's Hallmark. Hallmark. That's Hallmark. Hallmark channel. They they do and the they same also, thing. I don't know, dude. I don't watch any of that. That's the same thing. You're right. You so everybody's rich. Hallmark. Everybody's hey, wealthy. That's what I wanted that's to funny. say too. When I was watching <laughs> soap opera, every time you watch soap operas, even the poor people look rich. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's so messed up. They it's do. true though. Well, that, well, that's the thing is, like, I think, I mean, the reason why I was such a huge fan of soap opera is myself, like, because being in it, I was great. I mean, ugh, it was like the, it's the best job in the whole world. And uh, I loved it because, yes, it was very glitching, especially yeah. back in the day. It was yeah. super shiny, super glamorous, super, but that's why they were so special, right? Because it was like, you watch this, like, magical fantasy show that that you know it's you're just kind of watching all yeah you watch all these rich well, people and they're wealthy they're, and they're always doing manipulating things exactly but, you watch these you know. rich people manipulating everything but bad things are happening to them at the same time people are trying to get yeah, yeah. Uh, just drama i always tell my mom it's this is all this is rich people's problems yeah uh, <laughs> they're all turning on each other they got too much money and your character, i never watched them, hey so. speaking of your character you you manipulated a lot didn't you I was a busy bee for nine years. <laughs> I can't imagine, though, every single day being on... Like, I don't know if they had reruns, because I didn't watch soap operas, but... Okay. I'm sure... Well, they had the soap the network. Run. They still have the soap network? Yeah. But oh, I'm saying, but that seems like a long time. Like you said, nine years. And they don't have seasons, yeah. do they? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That seems no. like a long time. No. It's non-stop, and... Yeah, um, they, you're right though about Soapnet. They do have the reruns on Soapnet. That's a good point. Soapnet's not on the air anymore. It really sucks. Um, and then you can watch them on YouTube, like old the old, I mean old episodes on YouTube. And some I, I, I don't know what other like outlets they have. Like if you go online, you can, like figure it out or whatever. But I definitely know YouTube re-airs soap operas. Um, who else am I think? I think Pop Network re-airs shows. Um, and then I'm not really sure who else, but the but but for the most part, it's it's it you just kind of watch it, knowing you probably won't be seeing it again. Or you can DVR anything too these days. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, but yeah, it's ongoing, you know. So uh, I just couldn't fun, do though. it. it I, that seems like it, a lot of work. Like, it is a lot of work. Was you on set every single day? Like, even if you didn't read that day, was you on set? Uh, you mean if you're not working? If yeah. Even if you're not in the episode, no. If you if you don't if you're not in the show, you won't come to work. Okay, well that's good. I mean, I just yeah, you don't yeah 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 yeah. If you're, I mean, but the thing is, they do multiple shows a day, so or parts of multiple shows. Gosh, so, damn. I would have you know, to be the yeah. editor on that on that show. <laughs> Who that's am I there? Point. That's yeah. some, somebody put in some work. Editing so proper would be. Yeah, that's busy. You're 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 very busy editing for sure. Well, that's yeah, I think point. I don't know if all the other ones had it too much, but I know didn't Passions have a lot of special effects, or more than other ones. Did Passions have more special effects. Is that what you said? Yeah, because yeah. with Tabitha yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't really think I think Days of Our Lives went through a period when James Riley was writing for them, with as well with they and they had some special effects in there. But no, I think Passions was pretty much the one that had all oh, I think I, I hate to be like oh wrong you know but I believe so yeah that it was the only show that had crazy things like that happening <laughs> yeah, that's it was, what made it special though <laughs> yeah oh yeah I really like Timmy though <laughs> yeah me too I do too oh, man. sucks about him I don't have no clue guys I'm lost um well you know Josh is no longer with yeah. us yeah, I remember when I was watching that. Uh, I don't know where yeah, I saw it, but it was probably in like Soap Digest or something. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, it was it was very very very. So Josh was a uh, sweet, um, dedicated to the show, a uh, hard worker, um, always smiling. Oh yeah. You know, just a good. He was even like know. that in the show too, wasn't he? Yeah, he was just like that. Oh, and he and Juliet got along so well. Juliet was. Juliet Mills, which is who played the witch, um, she was so kind. She, she is so kind. She's a lovely human being, and uh, 
they just you know they got they spend a lot of time together you know <laughs> you do you you actually spend a lot of time with the cast because you're with them like every single day pretty much you know <laughs> oh yeah it's true it's true hey isn't the younger brother in that show of yours did he wasn't he the one that was in uh john tucker must die yep that's right so he went Jesse on Metcalf. Yeah, yeah, I knew I remember him from somewhere. He watched this with his mother. I didn't watch this. <laughs> I don't, I'm lost on passions. I told her when I was talking Days of our lives, like all that. I'm lost. Jim Jam over here, he's like, <laughs> he's like, you're gonna be making fun of me because I watched a lot of passions growing up. <laughs> Aww, that is so funny. yeah, <laughs> he watched. Aww. He watched a lot of it. I'm just like, uh, I just knew there was a witch on one. That's all I knew. I was like, there was a That's weird one with a witch. That's how you, that was ours. I mean, well, maybe not weird. It's just, you know, like, it's just like, there's one that's out there with the witch. And which the, don't matter yeah. because that made it different. I and mean, the people that run the yeah. town were the cranes. <laughs> I don't know. That's right. That's wild. Wow, you do know this show. Yeah, <laughs> see. He, but the, Ethan Crane I was your, uh, your love of your life, right? Oh my God, you're cracking me up. <laughs> <laughs> He's over a super duper horror fan. <laughs> super duper fashion like fan. So popper and being like that was horror. that was when I but was. You got to think though. You got to think though. I was a kid. But you got to think. He was drawn to that one only because it had the witch. So you know that's yeah. why I was because thinking. it had that aspect of if I got to sit here and watch one of these, this is going to be the one I'm going to sit here and watch. Why don't they have soap operas with like gore? I guess NBC or whoever won't do that. The Walking no, Dead is a soap you, opera. That would be good for like, <laughs> you know, for an, uh, like, uh, like an HBO. Like that would yeah. be cool if they did like a, that a soap be. opera, like to the extreme. It'd be new. Yeah, that'd be something we could sell. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Go for it. Go for <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> well, Lindsay, I know you was wanting to say something about you was wanting to take your daughter to the movies, so. I am. We're, we have. We're going to thank you, by the way. We are going to see Moana. That's my, what we're doing. Yeah, my kids saw that okay. not too long ago. So. Oh, what did you think? Was it good? Was it good? Because I already popped the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, great. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Rock is in it. I imagine that's going to be a good movie. It's got to be. Yeah. yeah, it's got Dwayne Johnson in it. So, yeah. well, voice in it. I know. I love the Rock. Yeah, he's not doing are bad you, movies uh, at all. His, all his movies are. You wouldn't happen off. to be a wrestling fan, would you? I don't even go there. <laughs> don't even go there. You're, we'll get off track for thirty minutes. You don't even. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Lindsay, we definitely appreciate you being here and talking to us about everything. Oh my. We'll have my to. Pleasure. We'll Anytime. have to get you on after, uh, after Death House to yeah, give you our opinion. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We, thank you <laughs> yeah, so much. And, I will. Uh, Enjoy your movie. Yeah, I definitely want to come back on and talk to you guys when it's out there. Yes. Oh, we'll definitely get you back on. Yeah, uh, 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 I'm going to tell Ben and, and Stacy with Full Moon to contact you for getting you out there to uh, Nashville oh, you're for so Full sweet. Moon. Please. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I would love, yeah. So you can get your too. first experience of a horror convention. Well, like, I yeah, think it's I not your first because you've already done panels at ones, haven't you? I did the one. I did the one. Yes, I did do the one. So this but will this be like after the movie's said. out, so people will know who you are then, or oh, in the horror genre. So kind. Yeah. Thank you so mm. much. That's very considerate of you. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, no problem. Well, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for uh, uh, right. taking the time out to join us tonight. Well, oh, this afternoon pleasure. for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, my pleasure. My pleasure. All right, guys. Well, well you have a good. Good rest of the day, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. You guys take care. Take care. Bye. All right, guys. That was Lindsay Hartley, Death House. Of course, Jim Jam's love of passions, the soap <laughs> opera that he loved as a child. My like guilty. I said the whole time, I have no clue. No clue what they're talking about. Just knew that there was a witch there. I guess you would call it my guilty pleasure. As a little child. I wasn't a little child. I was probably his age. You was 10. Nine, eight, nine, eight or nine. Um, Somewhere. Around. Anyways, Jim Jam's love of passions, and also one of the going to be one of the stars of Death House. I mean, you got to consider this. Like I'm saying, this movie is either going to be fantastic. I don't think it's going to be a middle. 
for people. You think there's going to be a, in the middle road for people on this movie? I don't know. They're already going into it thinking that it's going to be a mashup of horror, like Jason, Freddy, and all that. Is it? But if they go in that mindset, they're going to be. They're going to be. They're, they're well. They're they're gonna if be you're going to be down. stupid enough after all this. Listen uh, to our fucking interview with Harrison Smith, <laughs> yes. and you will hear him tell you about yes. how this is not a mashup. We should, probably should have put that in the intro. Well, we Please can... listen to the Harrison Smith, because I'm telling you, that's what, this is what I'm trying to get across to her, too. I don't know, but this movie will make her, everybody will remember her in the horror genre for this film, right? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, and, and this is her first film. And it's going to push her up here or down there. And it's not her. It's not going to be how she acts. It's just going to be the film alone. Yeah. Which I'm sure, I'm hoping it just breaks everything. And people love it. You know? Yeah, I think so too. Uh, it's going to be, I think it's going to be an instant classic. I don't care. I hope it is. To... I hope it is. I really hope it is. And like I said, we're gonna have more people to come, hopefully, from Death House. And that guy I was talking about, his Sean, he's, he plays uh, Sean Whalen. Yeah, I he think plays so. Satan. See, so we're we're moving in the right hopefully, direction. Hopefully, you know, we we put out the request for a couple more people, so hopefully we'll get some more Death House people, and we'll get more info on it, just like we just got from her. Yeah, and we're glad to be back. Hell yeah! We're <laughs> for back. the new year, 2017. Can you believe it? We made it. Oh, and one of our podcasts, 899 views. Well, it's not. It's, it's, Jim Jenkins is a podcast. It's, that's pretty fucking good. Man. It's great. All right, guys. Anyways, so, tnhorror.com, check it out. Check out the website. It's updating. Yeah, we uh, added Got writers. Page. We added Craig. A, yeah, Craig and uh, Bree. Yeah, Bree. I mean, so check out the website, guys. We uh, added the events page. To check out all the events we're going to be at. Hot it's, Con coming up. Con Nuga coming up. Just, Con Nuga and then Full Moon. At the end of the you year. want t-shirts? We can get them made for you. Tennessee Horror News and promotion t-shirts. Whatever. Before we know. get a more demand of them, they'll just be made to order. 25 bucks is... Somewhere around there, it just depends on what size. 20, 25 bucks, you know. Hit us up and we'll let you know what the price is. Yeah. So, you know, we're getting it out there, guys. We still got a couple extra large uh, yeah. Halloween editions. Oh, no, that's special. Oh, no, that's special. It's orange and black. That's Halloween. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. That's Halloween. Yeah, it is. It's the orange and black. Yeah, it's orange and black. Yeah, it's orange and black. Yeah, it's orange and black. We out. I do say we out. Oh yeah, please. I said we out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Did you get some? Like. like, share, subscribe. Yeah, I know. Uh, just a rumor, guess. <laughs> There's no hoping dope. <laughs>